So, my friends, welcome back to another vlog style. So I did do a little vlog when I went to Cyprus, like a vacation vlog, and I actually miss doing vlogs, so um, I I am going to start to do a little more vlogs here every now and then. I know I don't get as many views when I'm doing vlogs, but it feels a little bit more personal to do vlogs and throw in a little bit of like reviews and workouts and things in there. So today I am going to take you through my afternoon. I'm going to film a little bit, but I'm also going to go through my closet a little bit because I feel like I review so much active wear and um, every now and then I go through my closet but I barely never film when I go through my closet and I thought it might be interesting for you to see when I go through my closet and like talking about some of the things because some of the active wear I've had there I mean I've had them for years but I still cannot let go of them and, and some I just have to let go of because I don't use them and um, I just, I just cannot sit on any more active wear. Whenever I put anything in, I need to take something out because otherwise, I mean, it's overflowing. I mean, I have a lot of active wear. I have a lot of other clothes also, but... So I'm gonna go through my closet a little bit, just like a little vlog style and yeah, a little casual video. I think I'm gonna wrap up a uh, dinner now. It's currently four o'clock, no, four, 10 past four. And I am alone today, so I am going to have an early dinner and maybe a little bit of a snack after because I have some strawberries that I, I really want to have. And yeah, so I think I'm going to wrap up my dinner. I think I'm going to have like a halloumi salad or something. I've been craving that. So that's what I'm going to do now. And yeah, I'm going to dig into it. So here is some of the active wear that I am currently trying out and that I will be reviewing. So this is some Uvet active wear that I have been trying out this week. This review will actually be up before this video so I can link the review to the Uvet. I haven't tried Uvet in a few years now but I used to love their clothes and uh, yeah now I have three different sets here and I am very excited to show you because I think you're gonna like it. I also have, as you can see, some new seamless things that I have been trying out for a couple of weeks now. We have the Navigator new colors. I'm so excited. Remember that I put a poll up on Instagram asking if you wanted a review or not. And this sock scrunchy booty leggings did get a lot of votes so i ordered those and the same thing with this set they also got a lot of votes so i ordered those so those will be up in review soon i have some other animal printing inspired it's some aliexpress it's some amazon here here is some very very cheap active wear that i ordered like shorts i remember i showed this in like an instagram Whole, like an Instagram um, unboxing. I'm gonna review them and try them out and it's also like non-cropped top. Uh, here we have some Jed North. As you might know, I am a full-time worker, so I have a full-time job and uh, doing YouTube and social media is more or less my hobby, even though I do earn a little bit of commission here and there and um, it makes me being able to buy new things for my reviews and things but um, that's why I need to like bulk film during the weekends or like now when I am home alone and um, uh, that is why sometimes I'm bulk filming things and uh, like this video now I'm filming but the, some of the reviews that you see here uh, are going to be up before this vlog so I'm trying to spread it out a little bit. This is my natural face, by the way. No makeup, no nothing, staring into the camera on the screen. It looks so weird when people are like filming and they're looking in the monitor and not in the camera. I'm doing that myself sometimes, but every time when I'm editing and I see that I'm doing that, I'm like, come on, look in the camera, not in the monitor because it looks so weird. And I'm always bothered when people are looking into the monitor when they're filming so i'm trying to be better but yeah and uh, this is my natural face why i wanted to say this is because i'm so tired of filters i mean filters heavy editing 
we need to look the way we are looking my friends we cannot edit everything because no wonder people have complex over how they are looking when they're constantly comparing themselves to people on social medias so from now on i'm never I, I, honestly i almost barely not even editing anything that i post the only thing that i do is that i edit the light so it looks more like the actual light in reality because sometimes when you take pictures or filming the films like the end of the result can look very like a gray and dull and in reality it's not looking like that so i'm still gonna edit the colors uh, to make it look more like in reality but when it comes to how we are looking i i think we need to put more content out there that are not super smooth like no bags under the eyes like everything super smooth and blurred because that is not how we are looking in reality and also like shaping the body in different ways i mean i will never and i have never shaped my body in another way with editing like plumbing out the booty or making the waist look smaller or whatever they are doing i will never do that because sometimes i get like a little bit of fat here and there i don't say in any way that i'm fat but i mean when i'm sitting like this i can get a little like bulky fat here and i mean my thighs are not super thin my booty is not always super plumbing but that's reality and i'm not gonna edit my way to the perfect body because there is no perfect body there is no perfect face there is no perfectness out there so please stop comparing yourself to the unrealness that is on social media and i promise that i myself am going to be as real as i can be not that i say that i want you to compare yourself with me anyhow because we should never compare ourselves to anyone we should be proud of ourselves both our skin our body how we are who we are Let's just take a moment and be proud of ourselves. So now I'm gonna dig into my dinner. I'm gonna do my dinner first and then I'm gonna eat it. So a little rumbling here, but I think it's important. It's an important message, right? So here is what is going to be my dinner. So salad, cucumber, some melon, tomato, some halloumi that I'm going to fry and some pumpkin seeds, some sesame seeds. And that's going to be my salad with some balsam vinegar and things. And then I'm going to whip together full fat Turkish yogurt with some vanilla cottage cheese. This one is to die for if you live in Sweden. Try this one out. And then I am going to top it off with some strawberries. So on YouTube, we can do like this, but in reality, this is going to take a while to cook. But in YouTube, we do this. Ta-da! So here's the dinner. A gorgeous halloumi salad with some... Uh, yeah, you saw what I put in there. And here I have chopped up the strawberries. And underneath here, I don't know why I took a gigantic bowl for this little ones. Yeah. And if you're thinking now like, okay, she's eating salad, she's on a diet, I'm for sure not. I was actually supposed to eat pre-cooked, that I cooked the other day, pasta. But I just didn't feel for it because it's kind of hot outside and I felt for eating salad. So that's why we're keeping it fresh. So I am more or less always multitasking, eating and editing videos and things. But now I'm going to take my dinner and I'm going to have the luxury and eating in front of the television. So I'm going to put on some Netflix or something. I honestly do not know what I'm going to watch, but let's find something to watch during dinner. So right after I finished my meal, I started to film some review videos, but surprise, surprise, my computer collapsed. I think I, I uh, managed to fix it, but I have to refilm whatever I was filming. Story of my life. So yeah, let's put on a happy face and start over again. So third time is the charm, they say. I was filming and uh, now the memory card ended up being full without me noticing. So now I have to refilm again. Not the whole video this time at least, but yeah. So uh, I'm gonna film a little bit more. 
So I mean, this dupes has been my favorite for a long time. So I'm so happy that they released new colors like this. Like this color is amazing. You do not have any cellulite peeking through in this color. Not in any of the new colors. They are 100% cellulite proof, squat proof. I just love them. And I feel like they have amped up the fabric quality a little bit in this comparing to the previous ones. And also these are very much easier to get this little booty like it's not a booty scrunch but you see they go into the booty which is very requested but of course if you don't want it you can just take it out like this this is going to be my favorites i mean i have so many favorites but i really love the navigating dupes and i feel like the quality is really something extra they are phenomenal they give so much more compression than I thought that they were going to. It really feels like super compressive, but not in any uncomfortable way. Love these ones. Even the bra is giving medium support, even though it's leaving cleavage. Like, really like them. Feels super tugged in. Like this feels like what the, um, energy seamless used to be like or still is but i mean that's an older design but that type of like super compressive but still very comfortable i mean they have a little scrunchy part but at least the scrunchy part is not laying on top of the booty like the old small scrunchy parts we're doing definitely impressed like very impressed did not have these expectations, even though I thought I was going to really like it. But I mean, it's been so long since they did something that was like energy seamless type of compression and they stay in place and everything. Like, this is really something. Like, hello, bute. So I am really loving this. Little sneak peek, scrunchy booty, plumbing the booty from AliExpress, my friends. Review will come. So walking in to my closet, AKA studio. So here is my studio. So usually when you see me doing my YouTube videos, you see this part of my closet, but this is just a little bit of my closet because as you can see, you have all of this also. So here is where I have Oh, it used to be seamless leggings, but now, to be honest, it's mixed. Up there is some old AliExpress scrunchy booty. Oh, here is the Navigating collection. I really still love my Navigating dupes. Love, love, love them. And uh, here I have a little mixture. This is the lightweight seamless leggings. Here is some pocket leggings some shine bene femme this is the femme i have them in another oh here is the other ones the scrunchy booty leggings some seamless leggings do you remember this leggings i reviewed them many years ago still love them uh, oh my god it's, it's some leggings that are so old like this do you even dupes reviewed them for so long i can just not get rid of them i love them i have them in more colors as you can see i tried to have it color coordinated at least the seamless ones that i have here but then it's getting a little bit crazy here because here we're coming over to like my shine bennett collections like the high cloud the 3.0 5.0 noble middle scene like those collections so here i have them more by collection and not by color um I'm trying to declutter every now and then because as you can see, I have a lot and this is just leggings that is not matching sets. Even though the High Cloud collections and the 3.0 collections is with uh, sets, but I have the bras to them hanging here. And also some bras in here. And that is just because, oh, it's crazy in here. That is just because I like to mix them and I also use both the leggings and the bras to other tops. So here my friends is some sets and that is just because I run out of space where I have the sets. 
but then it's mostly like crop tops like this is not making sense because I have the leggings over there but but it's the same thing here I use these tops so much to other leggings that is why I don't have them hanging in the sets so it used to make sense here in my closet but honestly the more my closet is growing the less sense it's making because it's just hard to keep track of everything here is my Jed North crop tops that I love also here is a really old piece like if you have been following me a lot from the beginning you remember I was posting a lot of uh, like uh, pictures and also um, videos uh, like workout videos with this adidas top it's a really old one i used to have the leggings but i actually sold the leggings because i was never using the leggings but the crop top i still love not available anymore sorry but here in here we have some fummy leggings that i just cannot get rid of even though i've had them for years now and i am not using them as much because i'm always having new things to review but i still love them it's their like booty plum leggings and um, Look, I still have my Gymshark, like the seamless collections. I still have them, never used them, but I just cannot get rid of them. It was like the third review that I ever did here on my channel. Um, abs to be and the Tina's like scrunchy booty leggings. I have some Lululemon hanging in here also that I barely never use. Uh, just because I don't have the time to use them. Nick black catcher ah, I have a lot honestly I more or less never go into that pile because I always wear sets like here we have more like sets that are having crop tops it's a lot in here um, my alphalete ones I also have some alphalete leggings there and some alphalete leggings and um, tops over in the other space like here I have my vital collection the old ombre collections uh, I have a lot in here the femme ribbed I have some oldies and some not so old I mean this the dupes for the Gymshark camel collection from Aliexpress cannot get rid of them but I never use them anymore because as I said, I always have new things to try out, but I, I just love them also. Here I have some crop tops. It's a lot. I mean, this crop tops from uh, Shine Bene, I have them in a few colors. I wear them so much. I just love them. Um, this crop tops from Shine Bene that I reviewed like one and a half year ago. I still love them. Oh, the light is dropping here. So the quality is not super good now. Yeah, I have a lot of crop tops here that I love. But going over here, I have, this is like leggings and sports bras and leggings and sports bras. And look over here, my friends, like I still have all the energy seamless aliexpress and some gymshark original also i still have this in all the colors i still love them i mean the energy seamless dupes and even the original gymshark is one of my all-time favorite leggings to be honest i still love them but once again never reach for them because i just always have new things to try out but I just need to keep them here. They have a, oh, a special place in my heart because they were like the beginning of my YouTube channel. They were the game changer. So keep them here, still love them. I also have some other things here. Like I have a lot as you can see and I am decluttering every now and then because as you can see, it's like overflowing here. And I know that this is not in any way normal. My Jed North, some Jed North sets here is some yeah, alpha lead ones. Oh, I love this. Like this back is gorgeous. Uh, when it comes to sports bras, I have them, a lot of them. This is like single sports bras and here is some shorts set also. Um, oh, I love this cropped tops like sports bras from Aliexpress. It's Gymshark dupe. And over here we have the retro seamless this i have actually been taking out the other two colors of this scrunchy booty seamless set from aliexpress because i was doing photo shoots 
the other day so i just have not been hanging them here again uh some uh, uh, the animal printing sets like you have a lot of things here. Here is all the scrunchy booty, like the one on one, the one oh one scrunchy booty video that I did. Uh, this is the do you even dupes. I still love them to have on high intensity days because they keep everything in place. And here I have the all the shine bunny bras, some shine bunny sets there, like three of them. But otherwise, it's. Shine Bene bras, all of them like high collection, high cloud collection, and yeah. I have a package coming in from Shine Bene. That package is going to arrive this week um, with the, the new high cloud pieces like the high cloud shorts, like longer shorts, shorter shorts, a lot of tops, some leggings, V shaped leggings, and yeah, I'm very excited about that. So, Let's hope that package is going to arrive soon. By the way, I'm wearing this, loving this, just gorgeous. So I have been wearing this today and I, I, I'm just very like spoiling the review that I am going to film because I love them. And um, since I've been matching them twice today um, in this video, I think I will just link them down below before the review. But I can just say like, they are perfect and yeah. I think I'm gonna end this vlog now because it feels like I've been just rambling all day uh, and I love it. And I think I'm going to start to do a little more vlogs because it's fun to ramble and yeah. It's fun to feel like I am hanging out with you guys. So let me know what you think of this. Just vlogging with my mobile phone. So it's not like super high quality, but I mean, I hope it will do. Yeah, my friends, I am going to jump in the shower, end this day, going to bed and start a new day tomorrow. But thank you so much for staying with me today. And I hope I see you in my next video. Until then, bye. <laughs>